Hey guys, welcome to Art2. If you're new to the channel, this channel is about helping you sell your art online through print-on-demand websites like Redbubble, Society6, and a few other platforms that we discuss here on the channel. In today's video, I'm actually talking about some of the artist tools that I use to create art and to upload them to Redbubble. When I say create art, I'm talking about software and apps that help me develop some ideas and turn them into the art that I upload to Redbubble or the designs that I upload. So in today's video, I just wanted to get into a little bit more detail about some of these programs and why I use them so that you guys can see if this will fit into your workflow and if these are tools that you would like to have in your arsenal of tools that you use for your Redbubble or print on demand creation. So let's get into it and start with the first tool and uh, we'll go from there. So let's talk about it. Okay, so one of the first tools that uh, I'm going to share with you guys, it's actually a free tool. It's a software download. It's available on various platforms such as Mac, PC, and Linux. And uh, what it's called is Pure Ref. Uh, so Pure Ref, what it is, is a program that, uh, think of it as sort of like a Pinterest for people who are trying to design and need reference. So if you're looking for reference material while you're drawing, uh, you would pin it to your Pure Ref software. And basically you can refer to it as you're drawing in other apps so it is one of the best cleanest programs to use when you need reference material to look up uh, some details on the drawings that you might be putting together on the design and uh, it's simple to use now you could do this uh, with other programs some people even do use Pinterest for this type of uh, reference material but I found that this is one of the most dedicated programs to doing uh, reference and uh, if you do a lot of drawing and a lot of work on your PC you're gonna be thankful that you found this program especially since it's free uh, you can donate to the creators of the program if you find that it's useful for you but it is a free program that you can download and it's used by a lot of artists uh, who need to have their reference work up on the screen while they're working so you can check it out I put the link in the description box below if you would like to download that for free Okay, so the next piece of software that I use is actually the GIMP. GIMP is uh, an alternative to Photoshop. It's free and it's available for various platforms. It's available for Mac, Linux, and PC, and you can get it for free. So that's the best part of the GIMP because you're getting a full featured program that's on par with Photoshop. Obviously, there's some limitations and some things that um, aren't developed as much as a paid program like Photoshop. But if you're just starting out with drawing and designs for print on demand or for art in general uh, or for Photoshop type things that you need to do on your computer and don't have Photoshop then certainly download the GIMP for free because it's a program that's been around for a while and it is used by a lot of people there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube that you can find on how to use the GIMP and it's something that uh, is free to use so you might as well uh, have it in case you need it. It's even a good program for a backup to Photoshop because there are some other things on it that you can do. So it's always good to have extra software that you can learn and develop your skills on. So I definitely would recommend that you have a copy of the GIMP installed. It's uh, my favorite uh, free program that I've been using for quite a few years and uh, I can't help but recommend this program enough and if you want to support the community uh, for the GIMP there are uh, donations that you can make to that group and um, the software is available um, totally free of charge so it's definitely worth checking out now um, I mentioned the GIMP previously on a few other videos and for good reason because it is the software that a lot of people start off their uh, digital art business their digital art career with a free program so it's definitely worth checking out so that's the second piece of software that I use a lot for creating content for Redbubble and for other print on demand and I suggest that you guys check it out if you don't already have a viable program that competes with the GIMP so another tool that I use for creating content for Redbubble and other print on demand is a program called ColorMind. ColorMind is actually a website that you can go on to and get color palettes so basically if you're working with any type of design and you want to come up with a color scheme of colors that work well together you can use color mind and uh, its artificial intelligence to come up with these palettes now you can upload a picture or a design into the program and it will come up with a palette of colors that would work well for that particular design using artificial intelligence so it's something fun to play around with plus you can generate all these other 
uh, cool color palettes that you can use for your designs and have something to work with. That is one of the most important things is using colors that pop and that people uh, feel comfortable with a palette of colors that work together. So instead of having to reinvent the wheel, this is a great website to check out and use the palettes that it recommends to create your designs with those colors. And uh, they will stand out when people look at those designs because the palettes have colors that work well together. So that's another cool little program that I use. And again, it's free. It's online. You don't have to download anything. It'll work on any operating system that you might have. So when it comes to creating uh, my own custom fonts, I use Fontstruct. This is another website that you can go on and create fonts. There is a paid version of the site, uh, but there's a lot of functionality to this website and to create your own fonts. It's a lot of fun to play with too if you're trying to create uh, fonts that stand out or a little bit different than some of the traditional fonts that you find within your graphic programs and your standard programs that uh, have built-in fonts. This gives you a lot of options to play around with uh, different fonts and uh, it's become one of the go-to tools that I create uh, with when it comes to typography art so using all the different programs that I've mentioned in this video you can come up with a lot of different designs and a lot of things that uh, are pretty creative and stand out when it comes to Redbubble designs and basically we just took a bunch of free programs that cost us nothing and we can use these to generate money on various websites so you got to think outside of the box that sometimes the things that you need don't really need to cost money sometimes. You might be able to find a whole bunch of online tools for free that can help you be successful at a print-on-demand business. And that's what it's all about is finding the tools that you can use at the different levels of your career or your path into print-on-demand. Sometimes you start off with nothing and you find these free programs and you turn it into something and you can invest the money that you make from these programs uh, into other paid programs or services once you get a little bit more established in the game and that's how a lot of us have started out we start off with what we have for free we move on to paid software once we start earning an income from our work and uh, it's been that way for a long time for a lot of uh, digital artists who create content online you start off with what you have and then you move on to better tools or uh, paid programs when you have the funds to do it so I hope that you learned something from this video and that it gives you inspiration to go out and create content for Redbubble go out and do some designs and upload them to your favorite print-on-demand websites because there are so much that is yet to be created and I believe that you guys have the tools that you need to start your business if you haven't already and if you have just keep uploading and it's all you can do to start getting sales on these print on demand platforms is the more designs you have the more chance you have of making a sale so if you enjoy this type of content I hope that you can subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and if you hit the like button you help us get found in the YouTube algorithm so we're constantly putting up content on print on demand and we hope you guys will join us in the next video so keep uploading and we'll see you guys then